Tonight, alarming numbers reveal hundreds of children missing from Georgia's foster care. The state agency remains under a federal probe. This all comes after Atlanta News First years long reporting exposed a crisis within our own child welfare system. Investigator Sierra Cummins joins us in studio and Sierra leaders are trying to figure out why this is happening. Yeah, our reporting has long revealed children in state custody are vulnerable to homelessness and sex trafficking after being forced to live in county offices, subjected to violence and drugs. The concerns led to the ongoing federal probe by, led by Georgia U.S. Senator John Ossoff, who had this message to say. This is not an investigation about statistics and bureaucratic language and terminology. This is an investigation about children. Just these, two days after this public hearing on Capitol Congress. Hill, Georgia U.S. Senator John Ossoff came to Atlanta to share new findings. 1,790 children in the care of Georgia DFACS were reported missing. All part of the federal probe into the Georgia Division of Family and Children's Services, or DFACS. Now these numbers are deeply troubling because these are more than numbers. These are children. The research shows from 2018 to 2022, the numbers remain steady. More than 300 kids each year missing from state custody. And Atlanta News First years long investigations revealed those children often end up on the street, victims of sex trafficking. The FBI confirming in Metro Atlanta sting operations alone, Agents rescued about a dozen foster youth since last year. It's your kids. You adopted them. Colleen Baker learned of the trauma from a young girl she adopted. And so since 12 years old, while some people are like in football, soccer, cheerleading, she was learning how to use her body. Exactly. Exactly. They're out there selling the body. It's why Senator Ossoff came here to the Covenant House to highlight the work they're already doing as a nonprofit to help foster youth suffering homelessness and exploitation. As for state level accountability, can you name some specific systemic changes you want to see with DFACS, our state agency? Well, let me let me refer back to the finding that we released on Wednesday at our first hearing. Right, this is a, an internal audit from early 2023, which found a failure rate of 84% to properly assess and respond to threats to children's safety. We are still, again, in the early phases of this investigation. I don't think that we're in a position at this time to make specific policy recommendations. Positive change begins with the truth. And although in all of our reporting, the DFACS director has not interviewed with us, the agency has denied systemic failures. But when it comes to missing and trafficked children, they say they work with law enforcement and trained caseworkers to provide resources. In the studio, I'm Sierra Cummings, Atlanta News First. Sierra, great work out there. Well